Let's talk about Keep View Visible. Um, to set up the scene, we've created a folder called T Keep, uh, Demo Keep View Visible, and we created two controllers, Show Orders, it has a view, and on that view it has a button, a details button, in it we are calling the Show Order Details, which also has a view. Great. Let's run this. Demo Keep View Visible, great. We can see all of this here, and if we click Details, we'll get to see our Show Order Details screen. Cool. Now, just to make this easier on the eyes, let's move this to the right, so it will open over here. So let's do just that. We're going to take this controller, this view, sorry, and go to its location property, and change the X to 450. Let's run this. and details, and it opens over here, click on the parent, it will close, open over here, click on the parent, it will close, and click over here. So that's our setup. Now, when we use this, um, we may want this phone to stay open. So the way to get it to stay open is to use the keep view visible. So let's do just that. We're going to go to the show order details and in the onload method, we're going to set the property keep view visible after exit. And what will happen now? When we run our controller, not demo sub phone, demo keep view visible, and click the button, the child controller will display over here. But when we exit it, it will stay visible over here. Okay, and that's why we call it keep view visible. So keep view visible actually means that the view will stay visible even though we exit it. Okay, so it stays just like that, hanging in midair, and later we'll show a lot of subtleties about it and things that you can do with it, but the basic understanding of keep view visible actually means just don't close the phone. And it will close once its parent controller will close. So if we're going to say close to show orders, it will also close all the show order details. So here we go, yay, cool. So all we need to do to keep the view visible is in our show orders controller, set the keep view visible property to true. Now, that's just the start of it. We're gonna show you in a second quite a few other things that you can and should and want to do with it. But let's start with what it's good for. Well, keep view visible is here since the good old DOS days. Um, it was the only way in Magic to create a master detail form all the way up to 2006 or 7 when Magic introduced the sub phone. So you'll get to see this a lot in code that was migrated from older versions of Magic. It's an interesting way of working, has a few subtleties that you need to take care of, um, but it's kind of fun and you can play with it. So let's do just that in this series of videos.